Building a fusion device to generate electricity is crucial to solving humanity's climate crisis. Fusion releases nearly 4 million times more energy than a chemical reaction like the burning of coal, oil, or gas. The fuels needed for fusion are widely available in the oceans or can be produced by the reaction itself. No carbon dioxide, long low radioactive waste, or nuclear weapon materials are produced. And there is no risk of a fusion meltdown. So if fusion is such a safe, sustainable method to generate clean energy, why haven't we built a fusion power plant? To answer this question, we need to discuss the conditions necessary for fusion. Fusion happens when two light nuclei collide, overcome the electric repulsion between atoms, and fuse into a heavier nucleus. This reaction releases energy because the mass of the new nucleus is less than the sum of the mass of the two original nuclei. The conversion of nuclear mass into energy rests on the principle of mass-energy equivalence. To fuse, hydrogen isotopes deuterium and tritium must be at least 100 million degrees Celsius, at which point their electrons are ripped off, ionizing the gas into plasma, the fourth state of matter. The plasma must be confined so that it remains dense enough for the ions to fuse. The most promising confinement strategy is to use magnets to confine plasma in the shape of a torus called a tokamak. This shape takes advantage of the fact that an electric field can generate and respond to a magnetic field and vice versa. Magnets bend the motion of charged particles. Plasma is made of moving charged particles, so magnets can push or pull on a plasma without touching it. In a tokamak, strong magnets trap and control a ring of plasma. Because the confinement of plasma and the rate of fusion depend on strong magnets, the magnetic field of a tokamak sets the size, cost, and fusion performance of the project. With stronger magnets, a fusion device can be smaller, cheaper, and produce more power than devices with weaker magnets. Progress on tokamaks was stalled because the size and strength of the magnets needed for fusion had just gotten too large and expensive for any country to build. However, the recent industrialization of high temperature superconductors, or HTS, has made it possible to design small, logistically feasible, and cost-effective tokamaks. A superconductor is a material whose electrical resistance drops to zero, below a certain critical temperature. A wire that carries a current generates a magnetic field, and the stronger the current, the stronger the magnetic field. Consequently, HTS can create magnets with the strong magnetic fields necessary to confine plasma, fuse hydrogen ions, and generate energy while keeping the tokamak relatively small and affordable. MIT and Commonwealth Fusion Systems are collaboratively building the Spark tokamak to achieve fusion energy by 2025. If successful, Spark will be the first tokamak to produce net fusion energy and prove that HTS are a viable material for tokamaks. High temperature superconductors are accelerating our race towards the fusion power plants that will deliver an abundance of clean energy to our world and help solve our climate crisis. The promise of fusion shouldn't distract us from scaling up other climate solutions. To keep global warming within tolerable levels, humanity needs to keep building wind farms, solar panels, and electric vehicles at breakneck speeds. Fusion power plants offer benefits over wind and solar power, namely small land footprints and on-demand power output, making fusion an attractive component of a diverse, clean energy economy. It's a future that many smart people are working hard to deliver.